Hi there, and welcome to this fifth session dealing with site modeling in Revit Architecture 2012. In this session, we will focus on the very helpful feature called True North and Project North. We'll start out making a new project, for instance, in the US metric default template. We will make a very simple outline of a house consisting of four walls and we will take a look at the parameter called orientation located under graphics and we'll notice that we have two options either to direct the view project north or true north as default you notice that it's set to project north. Most of our plan drawings we would like to be perpendicular to the screen or for instance a printed out sheet um, of the house. But at the site plan specifically we might want north to be directly north uh, meaning upwards. And this is done by changing the orientation of the site view from Project North to True North. When we apply, so far nothing happens because we haven't defined what True North is so far. In order to do that, we need to go to Manage and we need to rotate True North. It's placed under Manage position and rotate true north. This will allow us to rotate the view. We might know that north is turned let's say 28 degrees from what we see um, here and this will instantly rotate the site uh, the 28 degrees but our levels will still be perpendicular to the screen area or the for instance printed area it might be a good idea to place a small north arrow on the site plan instantly for instance under annotate and symbols once again need to go to annotate and symbols and choose either one of the default one or make your own and place it on the site plan maybe with a little text since this symbol is not that good I hope you got the idea of why this is a very useful tool when creating drawings which has north pointing directly upwards and creating other plans uh, which uh, mainly will be uh, located perpendicular to the working area on the computer or a printed out area um, on a paper. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon again on my YouTube channel.